black and white people are coming together in this country, not really in this room, but in this country, I feel like we're coming together. And thank you for getting it, three people. I was following a black guy around a drugstore yesterday. It's how I celebrate Black History Month. And uh, I don't know if he got mad because I was following him or because I kept calling him Dwayne Reed, but it did not. Black and white people are coming together in this country. Back in the 50s, white and black people couldn't even drink out of the same water fountains, guys. Look at us now. Nobody drinks out of water fountains, am I right? Am I right? Because homeless people are bathing in them. And that's so rude to interrupt somebody's bath so that you can get a drink, it's rude. I give to the homeless, everybody, I'm a Christian, okay? But I don't give any more money. I give the perfect thing, fortune cookie because that's food and advice at the same time. It's like, wow, now I'm not hungry. Here's a message. You need some clinical strength deodorant, all right? Clinical strength because your stench is a medical problem. Oh, my God. <clears throat> I went to Canada last week, Montreal. Yeah. Uh, I do not like your border patrol up there. They were really bad. The guy was investigating me. Your border patrol. He had his fingers inside of me, ma'am. He was inside of me, okay? And then he had the balls to ask me, are you traveling with anybody? I'm like, you know what? I thought we were together now. <laughs> oh my God! I thought, how are you gonna do me like that, yo? How are you gonna do me like that? Thank you. You guys are what, man? It's a taping, ma'am. How are you heckling me during a taping, okay? This is my career on the line, Canada. I thought you guys were peaceful. <laughs> You're interrupting my comedy taping. <laughs> the cool thing about Canada, you know what they had? A machine that sold condoms and aspirin out of the same machine. <laughs> condoms and aspirin, fellas. So she has no excuse. Oh, snap!